The company has been using renewable energy from some of its larger sites for many years. For example, here at their Lady Bower Reservoir in Derbyshire, the head of water contained by the dam is used to spin a turbine. Using renewable energy wherever possible is part of Seven Trent Water's long-term commitment to environmental protection and to keeping down costs for its customers. The government's renewables obligation provided the catalyst to look again at the technology available to make use of other renewable energy resources. There is one source of renewable energy that few people have heard of. It's closer than you think. A lot closer. Methane gas is a natural byproduct of the sewage treatment process. When used as a fuel in suitable engines, the gas provides both heat and power, power that can drive alternators to produce electricity. The process is called Combined Heat and Power, or CHP, and Seven Trent Water has taken a major lead in exploiting the potential of this method of producing and using renewable energy. Over 40 years ago, engineers at the Minworth Sewage Treatment Works in the West Midlands were looking at the feasibility of methane gas as an energy source and installed engines to generate electricity for the site. These engines took up a large amount of space in their own building, required frequent maintenance and were only just economic to run, even on this substantial scale. But as technology has improved, so too have the engines, becoming smaller, more efficient and easier to install.